One non-random day at the island of Sodor, Nia was trying to push some freight cars with pipes. Uh, come on, I need this for the steamworks. Uh, uh, I will do it, I will do it. Express coming through. Oh no, Gordon, look. Ouch. At least nothing will fall. Ow, what just fell on me? Oh. What next? A blue, a blue Minecraft item. Ow. Ow. Didn't those items just fall on me? Well, it can't get any worse, can it? Uh, Thomas, it's about to get worse. Frick. Whoa, look out, Gordon. Ouch. Later, the fact and I mean, Sir Topham Hat, I just screwed that up. Sorry, UK on hits, came to see the engines. One of you engines has caused an accident, and until I find the culprit, all of you will stay in this shed. But, sir, I have a steamworks to one run, and I have paintwork to show off, and a Lady Gaga song to sing later on, and I have some weed to smoke. Uh, Edward, this is a kid show. Oh yeah, I forgot. And I have to have a Peppa Pig YouTube poop I have to make. And I need to take Henrietta to the seaside. Me too! And I need to, uh, do business with, uh, the, the Rosie. And I need to kiss my Tommykins. Okay, forget I ever said the business part. And I got expressed to pull. I'm out of here. Gordon, get back here! Oh, the indignity of it all. I've been using this joke for, like, years now. And, if, oh my god, I mean, Sir Topham Hat, I was about to screw up. Sorry, again, UK audiences. Drove away. All the engines were thinking who did it. I suggest that it was Thomas. What a frick would I cause an accident? Yes, I cause accidents and screw up. Especially in the Sharon Miller era. Thanks, uh, thanks Adrian. And especially since I went all around the world without Percy or any other engine. Yeah, thanks for that stupid blunder, Mattel. But I wouldn't cause an accident that stupid. But Thomas, I caused that accident. Yeah, Nia caused the accident. So can someone tell Sir Topham Hat? No, I suggest that we all blame Thomas for it and keep away from him until he learns how bad his mistake was. But that's just stupid! No, Percy, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, especially since I have cucumbers to eat! Exactly. Blaming someone is not the wrong. Blaming someone is important. Yeah, the boss is- Shut up, Kevin. I hate you, boss. I freaking hate you, too. So I say, we all stay away from Thomas forever. Yeah, and go on vacation. Okay, guys, that's just a stupid idea. Oh boy, I'm going to Disneyland. No, Henry, you're gonna get corona and you're gonna die. I wanna go to Disneyland. No, Henry, you're gonna get effing corona. I wanna go to Disneyland. Henry, no, you're gonna get effing corona. I want to go to Disneyland. And here's what we have to say. You're not going to Disneyland. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, stop the phone here. Where the crap is Emily? I'll get her. Excuse me, engine, whose fault it is for causing the accident. Shut up or I effing put you in the steam team. I gotta pretend this boat is my trap. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Emily. Shh, I'm sleeping because I watched too much Caillou last night. I thought you said you didn't really watch Caillou anymore. I grew up with it. Emily, you don't even watch Caillou. He throws tantrums and teaches kids that he won't get punished for it. Don't tell Sir Top- Hey, Sir, Emily's here! Oh, no. And you can blame Thomas for it. Emily, go on the boat with Duck and go to the shed. Pretend that's the shed. Forget. And don't come out until I say so. Oh, that Thomas. Oh, I'm gonna end him until he's dead. Yeah, Thomas is actually the one because he caused the accident with the pipes and Henry. Wait a minute. What? Later on. Thomas, suggest yourself lucky that we're never talking to you again. And I'm telling Sir Topham Hat about the accident with the pipes you, ca you caused. 
for the last time. Thomas didn't cause it, me hearty. Exactly. Thomas would never cause an accident. It's stupid. That's actually true. No, it's not James. Yeah, listen to the bo- Kevin, if you don't shut up, I'll sell you to eBay. Yes, boss. Thomas felt even more sadder and miserable as he went unhappily to sleep. The next morning, Thomas was still angry about what the en some of the engine had did. Even Merlin was on their side, and even Rosie, Toby, and Duck were on their side. Okay, all my engines. Who caused the accident with the pipes yesterday? It was Thomas. No, sir. Don't listen to them. They're lo- Ow! Shut up, Edward. Tell me you'll regret that. Frick my tender. Yeah, sir. Thomas didn't cause the- Shut up. Thomas did cause the accident, and the sun is burning my eyes right now. Sir, Thomas is serious. I mean, Nia and so- Ow! Don't tell them, Percy, and I'll kiss you. Uh, he caused it. Heh <laughs> Percy, why would you portray me? I mean, betray me. When is this clip gonna end? Later on, as Emily was pulling her coaches, she saw Thomas glaring at her. I don't really give a crap, she said. You need to give a crap, you stupid emerald freak. Huh, <sighs> pouted Emily crossly. Ch -ch -ch -ch, and she chuffed slowly away. The other engines are gonna get it. They're gonna effing get it for getting me in trouble for no reason at all. Then Thomas saw James later on. He glared at him too. But James didn't really care. Hey narrator, duh, he needs to care. Later on, Thomas even glared at Percy, even though he really did nothing wrong. If the other engines don't want to be my friends, I'll make sure I won't come back. To a stupid party forever and ever, Thomas said to himself, and he chuffed quickly away. That night, Thomas coupled up to the coaches and chuffed quickly away from them. I must get out of here, Thomas said as he was chuffing quickly. Later that night, the other engines then see Thomas in the shed. Huh? Where's Thomas? He was supposed to be at the shed later on, but he's not here. Well, I can explain that you guys were extremely rude to him. Exactly. Yeah, you, you even forced me into this, Emily. Even Merlin and Rosie were upset and angry. Yeah, exactly. My Tommykins would never, ever, ever want me betraying him. Yeah, and I wish I could make you invisible, Gordon. And you too, Henry. I'm sorry for what I did. Even Duck and Toby were angry of what they did. We may be sometimes rude to Thomas or scold him for stuff he shouldn't do, but we wouldn't go that far as to being jerks. Even Flynn felt very awful. <sighs> I guess I did treat Thomas a bit like a jerk. Kevin and Victor had to agree. <coughs> hey, I did this in my frickin'... Big World Big Adventures Trackmaster Persalon collection video from years ago. Shut up! It wasn't years ago. Big World Big Adventures didn't exist until 2018, and that was Mattel's fault. Alrighty, alrighty, just shut up, and let's get to the rest of the episode. And finish this so this doesn't become my longest video ever! Even Victor and Kevin had to agree. Rusty began to cry a little. This is all my fault. Even Rebecca was cross. You, Dennis, should have been accusing Thomas in the first place. Dennis felt so horrible, he wanted to end his life. If I had a bad day, I'll take one down, take a step up, and turn it all around. I don't know the rest of the lyrics of this song, so I'll stop. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Later, Sir Top Cat came. He found out what some of the engines had did, and he was very cross. Percy, Emily, James, Gordon, Henry, M Merlin, Rosie, Toby, don't include- Shut up! Duck, Edward, I even wasn't included- No talking! Flynn, Victor, 
Dennis, Salty, Nia. But sir, we weren't even included in this. Yeah, Fat Man and I wasn't even included in this e Silence! Boom, sir, top of hat. Victor, Kevin, Rusty, and Dennis. Didn't you already say my name already? Enough of the back check. I am cross at all of you. Accusing Thomas for something that wasn't his fault. Now, he is likely running away with the coaches. Wait a minute, you mean... My passenger coaches? My coaches? My flipping express coaches? No one can stop me. Nobody can. Nobody can stop me. Oh, oh, wee, woe, oh, wee, woe. Nobody can stop me. Thomas, wait, get back here. Come back, you little blue scumbag. <laughs> the indignity of it all. Bust my buffers. Gordon, Emily, James, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was thinking. I was just so mad that you guys accused me of something that I didn't do. I'm really sorry for what I did. And we're sorry for what we did. Exactly. Right, Gordon? Right. Alright, alright, fine. No need to forcefully demand me to apologize to him. King Pope. Pope. Later on, Gordon came back with Thomas and the coaches. Every engine whistled and cheered. Oh my goodness, Thomas, we're so sorry of what we did, especially Gordon. Yes, I know what I did, Rosie. Yes, Thomas, I'm even sorry that Emily and James forcefully made me, Nia, and Salty into this. Can you ever forgive us and be our friend again? Please, my friend, please. Thomas thought. Hmm. Hmm, let me think. Sure, but where are Emily and James? Yeah, where in the crap are they? Uh, Emily, where are we? Uh, James, we're in the countryside. Ah, crap! Where's Thomas? Uh, James, Thomas has already been found and- Ow! Something hit my tender! What was it? Was it a blue shirt? Ow! My paintwork, you piece of crap! Well, James, at least it can't get worse. Ouch! It just hit my funnel. Ugh, how can I get any worse? James, please don't say it's going to get even more worse, because if the more you say it's going to get worse, the more the video will continue to be longer. Ow, my beautiful tender. Just send us already. Please, please, please.